Welcome to another new creature review. Today we're checking out Marvel Legends Rider series Black Widow. Let's take a look at this box. All right, we got our nice big product window with our motorcycle and Black Widow, the lady of the hour. And uh, you know, <laughs> I I think I'm more excited about the Black Widow figure than the bike. I don't know. The the bike looks pretty cool, but it's kind of generic. It kind of looks like one of those uh little um you know, those those cheap replica figure uh motorcycles that you can buy at the uh grocery store. But, you know, I mean, to each his own, right? Um Black Widow logo. Um Hasbro, let's see. On this side we have a nice box art of the Black Widow herself on her motorcycle. And on this side, are they the same? Nope, they're mirrored. Yep, there she is. On the back, we have our product shots, her on her bike, and different angles of her bike right there. And we have our product blurb, a sleek agent with the wheels to match Natasha Romanoff cruises into action as Black Widow. All right, let's cruise on into this box and uh, get it open. All right, here she is outside of her packaging. Let's go over her accessories. She comes with one uh, alternate head with uh, long hair. And it's it's nice. I like that uh, that hair mold right there. It looks good. And her face is uh, nice and sharp. Let's see, let's get in a little closer. There we go. Yeah, you can see the blue eyes there. Um, the paint is a little heavy around her, like uh, her eyeliner on this eye, but this one it's it's not as bad. And uh, let's see. Yeah, there's a little bit of flashing on her chin, but that's... Oh, hey, look. What version is she? She's A2. I'm probably going to scratch that off with uh, Senior Box Cutter right here. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see. But yeah, it, it looks good. Um, I like the wash in there. The color's nice and, uh, nice and uh, vibrant. And... Uh, definitely a good face mold let's take a look at the head that is attached to her in the box um there were two of these uh boxes on the shelf and this was the better of the two but the eyes are still kind of the um the paint on the eyes is a little bit off you can kind of see like you, you can see the molding where her eyes, uh, where her eyelids are, but the paint kind of just goes where it wants. Um, from a distance, it looks fine. It looks okay. But I think this head does a better job. Yeah, the <laughs> the other box, the uh, the uh, pupil, the um. The irises were just like really tiny blue dots, and it was kind of freaky looking. And the um, the eyeliner was really really thin, so her her eyes looked kind of like messed up, like really really like she was freaking out. But these these ones look definitely look a lot better. Let's see what this looks like. Let's swap her heads. Oh, that's tight. It does not want to go in. There we go. Oof. I'm kind of torn because I, I like the short hair look better, but I like her face better on this one. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm going to switch it back because I like the hair better. And the uh, 
the differences on the face are marginal although i do like the face on the long the long-haired version better all right let's uh well you saw the uh, articulation there um her head is on a ball joint and hinge combo right there um I'm going to have to go in here with like a silver Gundam marker or something because for some reason there's a zipper on this side, but there's no zipper on this side, but you can see the molding in there. That should be silver right there. Oh man. It's okay. It's all right. Um, <laughs> yeah, but let's, uh, let's take a look at her details. That that's one of them that I have a little problem with on this figure. Um, it's just simple, all black. I, I like this uh the wrinkles on the leather looks really nice her um her gauntlets nice and simple oh and they spin okay so the, these are not uh, molded onto her arm that's good that's nice um her hands look like uh, gun holding hands which can um also be um motorcycle handlebar holding hands that's cool yeah I see it I see it now <laughs> all right um so this the silver on on the zipper is nice right through here I like the uh, the seams coming down her chest that looks nice but um, let's see yeah down the center is is okay except for they look like on her chest it's a different thickness so like I guess the zipper only comes down to a certain point and then it's just like not zipper anymore maybe I don't know the paint is nice and simple her little black widow belt esque kind of painted on silver dots with her black widow logo in the middle that's nice um, yeah it's pretty clean all the way and throughout but you can see a little bit of uh, marbling that little swirl in the plastic right through here uh, which makes the uh, the finish not um, as uniform as I would like it to be it's a little bit like it's matted right there but then like just just above it right here you can see a little bit of gloss like that semi gloss like a satin yeah the proportions are nice the uh, the um, the wrinkles on her fabric are nice the uh, I'm, I'm not sure this is this supposed to be a boot because there it doesn't really show if it like there's there's no definite line that shows it's a boot it just kind of goes into a foot so this is like she's like wearing like an adult onesie <laughs> eh, hey you know you do you black widow you do you all right okay yep her articulation head is on a really um, nice ball joint but swapping out the heads was kind of tough um, but then you got a good like she can look straight down she can look all the way up and she's got a little bit of wiggle a little bit of sass mm-hmm yep and she has a swivel smooth swivel there's no ratchet in there and a hinge that goes up that far oh there's a little flashing in there let's see this is a swivel and a hinge at the elbow single joint she has a swivel and a hinge at the wrist I think no there's is there a joint in there yes yes it is a whip joint it is not a knock joint so it goes like this that far and that far up let's see and it's not the same on this one this one is a knock joint knock goes that, that down that far and that far up so we've got one of each that's that's kind of cool um, I've I haven't seen that very often on these I I've Really, I've only seen them on the uh, the female figures, uh, where they have the uh, the whip joint and the knock joint, um, 
and the only time I've really seen them on the the male figures is on Star Wars Black Series. So I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's just like the uh, joint tolerances or something. Um, I don't know. She has a bull rocker ab swivel there. Kind of. She can. Let's see. She can crunch. It it doesn't give you very much crunch about that far. That far. You know what this kind of reminds me of? This kind of reminds me of Gwenpool. Just the amount of uh, play that you get. But I just did this. She gets a lot more kick forward. These are on ball joints. Her hips are on ball joints. She does not have a waist swivel. So she's kind of depending on this, this top. But she doesn't get much turn. I mean, I guess a human won't really turn that far. In real life anyway so that's fine okay um let's see the kick goes out up that far forward that far back and does she have a split she has a decent split it's not a full split she has a thigh cut at the top moves pretty smooth not too tight that one's actually kind of loose it's not wiggly loose, but it, it spins a lot easier, easier than I'd like. Double hinged knee. Bends that far. And she has a an ankle rocker and a hinge that lets her foot go down that far and up that far. So that's pretty cool. Right, let's do some size comparisons. Here she is with Toys R Us exclusive Marvel Legends Stinger. And Spider Punk. We've got X Nihilo. Walgreens exclusive. Thing. And Disney Store exclusive. Marvel Select Thanos. So she's kind of short. She's taller than uh, Stinger, so she's definitely taller than um, she's definitely taller than Gwenpool. So I'm I'm not sure if she shares a mold, but uh, she has the same physical limitations across the board. They don't have the uh, the waist swivel. The uh, ab crunch is a kind of kind of uh limiting um her kick isn't as as high or as far as as you'd think it would be so that's that okay let's check out this bike and we will zoom in there we go yeah i like the color on it and i like i like the details but it looks and feels like, you know, a dollar store uh, 112 scale bike that you pick up because your kid saw it from the grocery cart and needs it for some reason. And you're like, dude, I got Marvel Legends on the shelf. You don't need this. <laughs> but, you know, I, I got this on clearance. That was my uh, that was my stipulation when I picked this up. I said to my wife. You know, I think the only way I'm going to pick this one up is if uh, if it drops down to clearance prices to like maybe the the price of one figure, and that's what happened. It dropped down to nineteen dollars, and I said, "All right, I'm picking her up," and I'm really picking this up for uh, Black Widow and not the bike. Although the bike is a nice perk, and like I said, it's it looks nice. It just doesn't it, it there's it doesn't really have much character to it but let's let's take a look it does have a lot of nice details it's got the, the tread on the tires which spin really nice you got your uh, uh, your brake pads I think uh, I don't know anything about motorcycles so I'm sorry if uh, if I'm getting things wrong uh, got this fender right here and uh, the forks 
Let's see. Little windshield, front light. That would be cool if we can get that to light up somehow. I bet I can get like an LED back there and just kind of get it to light up. That would look really cool. Um, this is like a pearlescent gray plastic throughout, and it's different shades too. You can see this is like a light gray. This is an even lighter gray. This is a dark gray. The pearlescent. You got nice uh, molding over here. This is black, and it's a it's a matte black too. Look all the uh, the uh, mechanical work on the inside there. Um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. This is on a spring. That's really cool. And uh, got the little foot pegs right there. Kickstand. Got the chain. That's that's kind of a cool little thing right there. You got your chain going to the back into the motor. And uh, got our rear lights. This side you can see all the uh, the uh, access screws. So this, it looks kind of like you can just take this thing apart pretty easily. That's a nice texture right there. Uh, man. Okay, so this is, uh, I don't, hmm. I'm not sure this is uh, different shades of red as much as it is different um, finishes. No, this is a different red right here than this. And then from here to here, You've got matte right here, and then you've got um, like a gloss right there. And this is really glossy. It would be nice if this, if uh, all the red was glossy like this. I think that would have been a lot nicer. There's your gas cap here. Yeah, and then you got the little controls, or the uh, um, yeah, your odometer, your your gas right there. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that one is. Is that your RPMs right there? I, I don't know. This kind of bothers me. I'm going to have to hit this with hot water, and I, I don't want to put this under hot water right now. I don't ever want to put this under hot water. <laughs> this is like, it's bent in. You can see how it's supposed to be. Um, this should be like this. Yeah. So overall, I do like this bike. I just think it looks really, really um, generic. It looks like dollar store generic. Um, let's let's put her on. Let's see how she looks. Okay, here she is on the bike. She doesn't look half bad. Um, let's bring her in. Yeah, she uh, she straddles the uh, the bike real nicely. And uh, your feet supposed to go here when you're riding. I don't know. I don't I don't look at motorcyclists very often. So. Uh, All right, here she is on the motorcycle. That's kind of finicky, and uh, her feet don't really go onto the foot pegs very well. Um, she straddles the the uh, motorcycle fine. It's just it doesn't 
it just doesn't i mean it, it's i think ugh. i think most of the problem is that uh you know she's not a human so her thighs won't squish in and like hug onto the bike like like a human would but it looks good it looks fine you know um let's bring in another marvel writer all right here she is with Ghost Rider, pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't compare. Ghost Rider is awesome. Like, <laughs> he was one of my first reviews, and he is just amazing. He he still like he steals the show. <laughs> and uh, just for kicks, Gwenpool on a one twelve scale Vespa. Hello. Yeah, like I said, I I didn't really buy this Black Widow set for the bike. Uh, the bike is okay, but like I keep saying, this it looks it just looks too generic. It doesn't it doesn't really pop. It, there's there's no uh, there's nothing to it really, and she doesn't really sit well on it either. She looks good like on the box. She looks good like standing next to it, but as as far as riding it. She, it looks a little bit out of place. I mean, I don't know. You let me know what you think in the comments below. But I bought this for Black Widow and not the bike. Um, I could do without the bike, but you know, the bike is nice. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to say the bike is ugly because it it looks nice. It does. It really does look good. It's just it's not really. Uh... Let's move that back a little. Yeah, it's not really um it's not really doing it for me. I mean, your your mileage may vary. If if this is your cup of tea, you let me know about that in the comments below too. All right, that's it for my review. Tell me what you think. Honestly, let me know what you think about this set in the comments below because I, I just I I don't think it's worth $40 to just get this bike. It it, it feels light. The wheels are nice. You know, the the details are nice, but it just doesn't feel like a $40 figure. It, it I'm glad I got this thing on clearance because, uh, you know, uh, now I have my uh, my Black Widow figure and uh, bike is optional. She doesn't need a bike. I don't know. Um, but you let me know what you think. All right. If you uh, like this review, give me a like. If you haven't subscribed already go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you know when i put up new reviews and uh be sure to check out my instagram and facebook for pictures of black widow probably riding with her crew uh with the um burning motorcycle from hell and the uh vespa from uh vespa <laughs> i don't know <laughs> all right um, it's late, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. All right. Thanks for watching.